Hello, I'm Christina Ott, chairperson of the Galferbund North America Education Committee. We've been cooking up some things in our kitchen and are incredibly excited to share with you a new series of online workshop videos centered around something we all love about Bavarian culture, food. These workshops are aimed at providing us all with easy access to learning how to make a classic dish you might adore, trying a new variation of a recipe you're already familiar with, or discovering the secret ingredient or method to someone's homemade specialty. Food is a deeply cultural thing. It's something that simultaneously connects the world and differentiates the people within it. A single dish can have endless variations to it, and yet each one of those variants is so distinct it can help to distinguish country from country, region from region, city from city, and even street from street. We hope this series introduces you not only to new recipes to try, but also to different recipes other people use to make some of your favorite foods. We have a ton of great things planned for you. Not only do we have the master here in Rick Michaels, who's got a number of different Bavaria Garden favorites ready to go, we've reached out across the Galferbahn to try and line up some really fun stuff. Rick, why don't you share a few items that we have planned in the future? Thanks, Eric. In the future, we have planned Laugenbrezen, authentic Bavarian pretzels, a delicious soup known as Leberknödel Suppe, that's a liver dumpling soup. Apfelstrudel, that wonderful beer garden cheesy classic Obatsta, and even some schnapps. With that in mind, we hope you enjoy this first in a series of food related videos we call Gau Nord America Eats. Thanks, everyone. See you soon. Enjoy. Sales. Servus, grüßt euch gut alle miteinander. I think that we can all agree that food is an important part of any culture. It's been said that if you want to gain insight into a culture, just eat what they eat. With that in mind, the Education Committee would like to kick off a series of short videos related to Bavarian culture with a summertime beer garden classic, and that is Wurstsalat, or sausage salad. That's right, a salad made out of sausage and a few other key ingredients. Wurstsalat is popular throughout all of Bavaria, but it's also well known in the neighboring southern state of Baden-Württemberg, in Switzerland, Austria, and even in the Elsass region of France, where Strasburger Wurstsalat is a local specialty. In its most basic form, Wurstsalat consists of sausage, onions, and a vinegar and oil dressing, nothing more. There are many variations on this basic form though, and one of the most popular contains cheese, specifically some type of Bergkäse, like Gruyere or Emmentaler. This version is usually called Schweizer Wurstsalat, but cheese is also always a main ingredient in Strasburger Wurstsalat, and very often in versions found in the Allgäu region of Bavaria. The recipe I'm about to show you was taught to me by a good friend from Sonthofen im Allgäu, so I'm calling it Allgäuer Wurstsalat. I even wore my Allgäuer Edelweiss Hosenträger for you. I have some pretty good friends in the Allgäu. I know the area well, and it's a pretty special place for me. Those of you who traveled to Haldenbang a few years back know firsthand what a beautiful and unique area the Allgäu is and how important cheese is to the food culture there. So let's get started with our Allgäuer Wurstsalat. First of all, let's look at our ingredients. We have our sausage here. I'm going to show you how to slice that in a few short minutes. And we have our bergkäse here, about four to six ounces, and you can slice it however you want, but normally it's done into matchstick um, portions. And if you can, try and use um, a nice imported cheese. Uh, the domestic ones tend to be a little rubbery in my opinion. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it's worth it. And I have a Gruyere here. 
Uh, it's imported from Switzerland. We also have the second main ingredient aside from the sausage and that is onions. And here I have a small red onion sliced thinly. And next we have some pickles. Make sure you get the, um, if you can, and if you can't find them, get German pickles, either Hengstenberg or Gundelsheim. They are the best and they really do make a difference. And once again, you can slice those however you wish. You can either slice them into thin rounds or into matchsticks, much the same as the um, cheese is sliced. Um, but when you do slice them, make it, along with the sausage too, make sure it's sliced um, thinly. You don't want slices that are too thick. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to take care of the sausage here. And for our sausage, we have ring bologna. And try and get garlic ring bologna if you can, because it really makes a difference in the flavor. And it's really um, what approximates the sausage most used in Wurstsalat in Bavaria, and that is called either Leona or uh, Regensburger. Uh, those are very hard, if not impossible, to find here. But you want a, what's called a Fleischwurst or a Brühwurst, and that's what ring bologna is, and it is very, very, very close to what we need for Wurstsalat. But the first thing to do is, of course, remove the casing. So I'm just making a small incision here, and that's gonna, it should come off fairly easily. There we go. Okay, we'll get rid of that. The sausage, however you wish. Um, you can slice it in uh, matchstick strips, the way I've done with the pickles and the cheese. Um, I like to cut the ring in half and then cut it like that. You can just leave it the ring whole like this and just cut it into thin slices. Thin being the, the operative word there. So I'm going to cut these into thin slices. There you go, just like that. Okay, I'll see you back here in a few short minutes. I'll get this sliced up and then we'll put our worsts out together. See ya. Okay, we have our sausage sliced thinly. Now we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients and we're gonna start with the second most important ingredient and that is the sliced onions. For the um, ring bologna, um, the ring I have is about 14 to 16 ounces and I thinly sliced one small red onion for this. Um, now we're gonna add about three to four ounces, depending, if you like less, do less, if you want more, put more in, but about three to four ounces of the um, Bergkäse in matchsticks. And here we have about three or four of the Essiggurken, the dill pickles sliced into matchsticks. So there we go. That's basically it. Now we're going to turn our attention to the dressing. Uh, the traditional dressing for Wurstsalat is, of course, a vinegar and oil based dressing. I'm switching this up a little bit only because it's the way I was taught and I'm using part of the pickle juice in the dressing with um, very little oil because as it was explained to me, there is enough fat in the sausage and in the cheese and sometimes if you use too much oil in the dressing, it becomes overpowering. So anyway, that's how we're gonna start. And I'm going to add a spoonful or two of Weisswurstsenf. And if you can find it, get Hendelmeyer from Regensburg. This is the good stuff. Paul, I know you're looking down on me and smiling. And maybe thanks to you, I was able to find this locally. So, Hendelmeyer of Eiswurstsen. You can use Dijon mustard too if you want. If, you don't, if you're not a big fan of the sweet mu mustard, you can use the Dijon mustard. And this helps a little bit too to emulsify the dressing. 
So we're gonna put that off to the side. Now we're gonna add about a quarter cup of vinegar, and you can use any vinegar you want. I prefer apple cider vinegar, vinegar, excuse me. That's uh, the one I prefer. You can use white vinegar, you can use red wine vinegar, any of the fine herb vinegars that are out there. I would shy away from balsamic though. I don't think that's all that traditional. Then we're gonna add about a third to a half a cup of the strained pickle juice to our dressing. Then I'm gonna add just, oh, maybe a tablespoon or so of the oil. Not too much. You can add more if you like, certainly. These, these are, quantities aren't written in stone. It's whatever you prefer. Uh, I'm gonna go easy on the salt in the dressing because uh, the sausage is salty, the cheese is salty. So just a little sprinkle of salt bit of freshly ground black pepper and finally a little shake of sweet paprika just a little bit there we go okay that's what that looks like now we're going to whisk it all together Very simple, very basic kind of dressing or marinade for our worst salat. Now the vinegar and oil, vin vinegar and pickle juice marinade or dressing is what differentiates the southern German worst salat from the northern German Fleisch salat. The dressing for that is mayonnaise based. There we go, that's good. We're gonna pour that over. Our worst salad mixture. Make sure we get it all out. There we go. And we're going to mix it up nice. Ooh, looks good already. Okay, that makes pretty well. Now, the important thing here is to let it marinate in the fridge for at least an hour, preferably an hour or two. Okay, so there's our worst to lot. We're gonna marinate it, let it sit in the refrigerator for an hour or two, and then I'll meet you back and we'll taste our worst to lot. So, see you in an hour or two. Okay, our worst to lot is ready. It's marinated for an hour and a half. Not really, I just couldn't wait though. So we're gonna dish it up. Boy, it looks good. This is such a good meal for the summertime. Just so nice and refreshing. And this is enough for two people. This recipe I've given you. I got some fresh schnittlauch, some chives from my garden. I use that for garnish. There we go. There we go. And it's best to eat worst a lot with a nice hearty sourdough rye bread or Bauernbrot or one of these babies here. Mm. Frische Laugenbrezen. Mmm. Let's try it. It's like summertime in the beer garden. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Just delicious. Mm. Well, I hope you get to try this recipe before summer's out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. It's just delicious. It's a great meal for summertime, as I said. So, don't forget, try this out. I wish you an guten, and until we see you again the next time, Prost, stay healthy everyone. Good night.